Hello and welcome to another review. Today we are no, not yet, not yet, not yet. Today we are reviewing the Marshmallow Man. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, enjoy. I don't know why I'm doing this for us. <laughs> Oh, here it is! Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't really have too much to say about this one because it's pretty simple. Um, but yeah, it is. Uh, you do. But yeah, you do get a very very big um, body with this one. Like really, like it is like huge. Like you know, it's up to here. But my my belly is like all the way there. So you know, it's like if I actually get an angle. It's like yeah, there. There's my belly. <laughs> So yeah, it is uh, very very huge, like in you know the body bit of it. But I suppose that actually represents um, you know exactly what it is like in the actual Ghostbuster movie. And uh, you know you get like little glass panels, like I told you about. And uh, you know you get a nice little happy marshmallow kind of smile. And uh, yeah, you know you get also the back flap as well, which. Uh, Hopefully, hopefully you can see. But, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, there isn't a whole lot you could maybe do about this. Uh, if I get my arm in, oh, not like that. Uh, I forgot that you get a bit of stuff in this. Well, not fully, but <laughs> you know, like the arms and the arms actually are very, very tight. So it's actually hard to get your arm out of it. Oh. Well done. Ah. There we go. I was just taking off one of the gloves. Actually, I should take both of them because they're slippery on the phone. Well done. Well done. Give me a moment. Having problems. Because <laughs> the gloves are very silky smooth, as I uh, hopefully I've mentioned, if I remember rightly. Um, <laughs> there we go. Just putting it in the pocket with the holes of the arm of course you know now like that of course the air is escaping so it's a bit more hold on what if I hold it so if I hold that one 
and that one it should maybe inflate back to full again and I can really show you is it? yeah there we go it's just about almost back to full but yeah like I said my belly's here and it goes pretty far and almost all around as well as the back but yeah the sides are actually a bit more closer but yeah the front and the back is not is actually pretty wide um down here down in the cove uh before it deinflates again because i've let go of the arms uh you know it's actually a bit like you know it's got that tight it's got a bit of a tight um, area again, a bit like the dinos that I explained. But it's a little bit tight when it is fully inflated. As you can see, it's getting a bit more crimply because it's, <laughs> you know, like I said, there's air holes that it is escaping right now. So, uh, you know, I can't fully show you well. Can't fully show you well, but yeah, there's the uh, Ghostbusters 2019. Yeah, there we go. Uh, but yeah. But yeah, that is, like I said, this is almost roughly how I see. But yeah, it is. There's the mouth. There's the upper hat bit. You really can't really do a whole lot in this because it is mostly just plain white and you know you can't really do much with the face and you can't even like wink with it because uh, like a little plus you know this because uh, oh I think I'm zoomed in that might be why it's just too big but yeah <laughs> phone was a bit zoomed in but um, yeah like, you know the plastic padding and this netting of course you know the plastic um, prevents the crinkling of the eye and such so it's always nice and flat so you don't get any like crinkles in the way of your vision but um, yeah you can't really wink with it because of that and like I said you just can't really do much of this one but yeah it's a bit of a nice it is a bit of a nice costume but I'm glad I'm actually very happy I'm still pretty happy that I got this for very dirt cheap which is a bit shocking because you know even though you know any inflatable costume or even just a regular costume that isn't inflatable doesn't normally cost um that doesn't cost as much as what i told you i bought it but um yeah <laughs> there you go i'm now gonna end this recording and yeah just get in a different costume now and get into a different costume because i'm i'm doing two recordings today but anyway yes as you saw in the footage um, yes, it is quite of a uh, big costume, as you saw. Um, it is definitely one of them, like, on on the edge of them, like, fat kind of inflatable costumes that you can buy, which I still don't get the appeal with. Like, there's no face, it's just a blank colour, and it's just big. I suppose some people enjoy them things. Um, I don't see the appeal of buying one of them, especially because they're kind of expensive, when I can buy one with like this where it's quite more detailed but when I mean quite detailed I'm kind of lean, leaning towards where it's like I'm just making it acceptable because honestly this costume as you saw doesn't have tons of detail but it has some you know just enough so so it still has the marshmallow puffy hat with the with the that with the nice little stringy detail that they have in the movie um, with the toff and the nice little blue topping uh, and of course you know it has the words all around there on top of the hat which is quite quite faithful to the movie itself and when we get to the face which you probably could make it derpy um, probably probably. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I said, you can make it dopey if you wish. Whatever. Um, well, you know, it has already got a derpy happy face on it, so, you know, it's almost already there. <laughs> but um, when it comes to the face itself, um, 
you have a different eye design. Um, what I mean by this is, well, there is the, the traditional mesh eye, um, mesh eye um, plate um, to, you know, see out of, right? But it isn't painted on because um, like most do like do like a little paint like make it red and all that such to give like a bit of like an eye detail rather than just the material solid colour right but this is just using solid colour but this plast or this kind of like this kind of like little plasticky um, material um, and they've like printed on with um with the eye design so this is actually on like the little plastic which i'll try to show yeah. as you can see it's kind of black plastic plastic bit is the uh, front one is the front bit of it and like i said the mesh is behind it um to be honest i feel like i feel like um why bother with the mesh um because technically that's like that i suppose just to make it a bit more like yes this is white um i suppose he doesn't really have eyeballs <laughs> did he actually hmm but anyways so yeah you can tell that this is quite closed off if they've at least you know also blocked one of the air holes that most inflatable costumes tend to have um so yeah, it's, so yeah, they have tried to trap the air even more, I suppose. And with the um, with the uh, with the elastic um, armbands around your feet and arm being quite tight, um, it definitely does um, hold air in incredibly well. Like um, probably the best inflatable costume um, with, when it comes to you know um, holding you know intaking air and holding it um for big and maybe like even medium speed fans because honestly um a low powered fan that's when you can really tell when you know it's like oh it's starting to like crunch up and not flate much easily and all that such with this um probably a low powered fan would still look like it's okay for a while of course you know once it gets to really low powered is uh when it will probably do it and the last few details is well you know you got the uh, what would you say napkin I don't know like something <laughs> uh, I don't know what you would call it because it's just basically all around maybe um, it's not a, it's not exactly a poncho maybe, maybe uh, I would say a half poncho maybe you know the actual right term for the this kind of fashion thing if you know please let me know because i'm actually kind of interested what the actual word will actually be for this thing <laughs> that well the movie you know marshmallow uses um around his neck and yes it does have the ribbons at the does have the ribbons again but as you might see actually you can just about see it uh, yeah, you can just you can see a bit of it red there on, on the blue because uh, yeah, they it's it is kind of like really 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 see through a bit there, so you can see a little bit red. It almost looks like a ketchup stain on it. Don't know why they designed a ketchup stain, but that was their choice. Fair enough. And and to finish it off behind the thing i don't know what it will be called like i said let me know um you the zip will be back here under here so it goes right up right up to where this bit is of course you know attached so it quite hides the um zip handle quite nicely and uh, well of course the zip is nice and white as well so it's quite hard to see like you can't see i've been saying that quite a bit in my reviews <laughs> you can't see oh well this is quite a bad review then if you can't see anyways time to go to the review a bit of that video of that video oh, oh, oh no i've made it clear that i've done multiple recordings <sighs> oh if only 
If only I changed clothes and didn't say stuff like that, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. And you better never know. Because if you know... I will come to your house and kill you. Yeah. Right, it's time for the pros and cons and the score. Its design is actually quite true to the movie itself. Also, this costume also uses a quite unique window material. I don't know what it is, but it isn't like any other plastic window material used on other costumes itself. It, it really is quite different, and I would like to know which material that is as well, but whatever. It is such much more a better material for it. I think other inflatable costumes should use that material as well, because like I said, it really holds up quite well. This costume also has probably the best air containment I've ever seen on an inflatable costume. Like I said, it really, really holds air very well. And even, like I said, even with like a weak fan, it'll probably be still quite very inflated with all the air it's already collected. So yeah. The cons of this costume though, it is quite basic though. Apart from that window pro that I've already mentioned, it really is like all the other inflatable fat suit costumes ever made. And so it can get a bit boring and and well you can't really animate the costume either much either, you know, it's just you know, because also the plastic window prevents you know, doing little eye blinks and such. So uh, it's quite a blank slate. You really can't do much with it and plus that it's quite bland so yeah my score i give this is going to be a six out of ten because yes it is okay um it's just above like you know all a uh, good and bad so yeah six out of ten i give it 